Hello my dear friends, I welcome you all to our channel which is Best Notes Tutorials and today we are going to learn letter writing. Alright, so we you know usually get confused between the format and the language. In this video we are going to learn each and everything minutely. So please be with us and focus on the video minutely. Let's begin. Friends, let me tell you what are the letters that we are going to include in our syllabus. Here, you all can see different kinds of letters. First is letter to the editor, letter to the government, letter to the police, letter to the principal, invitation letter, complaint letter, leave application, resignation letter, job application, letter to the bank manager and all these five business letters we are going to include in our syllabus. Right now we are going to focus in this number 11 that is business letters, letter of inquiry, reply to the inquiry or quotation, letter of placing order, letter of complaint and letter of cancellation. So let's begin. Students, you should keep in mind these points while writing the letter. So let's begin. Let's discuss one by one. Number one. A formal letter strictly follows the prescribed format. I'm going to show you what is the format in my next line. Next point. The use of colloquial or casual words and abbreviations should be restricted. These colloquial language are not allowed and abbreviations as well. Okay, colloquial language means the language that we use in our day-to-day -day basis. Okay, casual language, simple language. A formal letter must be precise and to the point. Next number is the subject line is very important in a formal letter. What is the subject of the letter? That makes it worthy. Whether it is worth reading or not, that will depend upon subject line. This is the formal letter format. At first, you should write sender's address. You should give one line gap, then date and one line gap, receiver's address, one line gap, Subject and salutation should be written in this manner without giving gap. After that, one line gap again. Body of the letter in three paragraphs, which includes complementary close as well. Then sender's name, signature and designation. This is the format which you have to follow throughout the official letters. Okay. Here are the details of each point now in sender's address what you are going to write it should include the address and contact details of the sender then comes the name of the sender is not required it might include email and phone number if required and if it is mentioned in the question in date you can follow any format, but this format will be preferred in order to avoid confusion. In receiver's address, you should write the name if necessary, otherwise designation will do. Okay, designation is going to work for name. Now, the address of the recipients or the email. The officer the principal or the editor. In this way, you should write the designation. In number four, that is the letter, the subject of the letter, you should mention the main purpose of the letter, which forms the subject as well. It must be written in one line. It must convey the matter for which the letter is being written. Next comes salutation. In salutation, you can write, sir, Respected sir, a uh, madam. Then comes body section. 
the matter of the letter is written here. It is divided into three paragraphs as follows. First, second, and third. In first paragraph, you should include introduction and the purpose of writing the letter in brief. Remember students, all the official letters should be very brief, okay? In paragraph two, give details of the matter. Paragraph three, it should include by mentioning what you expect. Conclude by mentioning what you expect. For example, a solution to your problem to highlight an issue in the newspaper, etc. Let's come to business letters. Business letter, which is our topic for today, it has five divisions, okay? Letter of inquiry, letter of quotation, letter of placing order, complaint, and letter of cancellation. We are going to discuss in details. Students, remember one thing. In business letter, we should mention letter number and rest of the format is going to remain same. How you are going to include this, I will tell you in example. So be patient and attentive. Example of letter of inquiry. Here the question is given as Avinash Aneja, librarian of Swami Vivekananda Senior Secondary School, Vikas Puri, Delhi, you have to buy dictionaries and encyclopedias, write a letter to MS Universal Book Supplier, 14 Gali Ramnath, Chandni Chowk, Delhi. Asking for a list of such books available with them, their publishers, special discounts for institutions, time taken for delivery and the mode of payment acceptable to them. Students, here is the answer. At first, we have written sender's address as mentioned in the question. Then comes date, receiver's address and salutation, then subject. Okay, keep in mind, you have to follow this format even if the details are not given in the question. Say for example, if this rec uh, receiver's address is not given in the question, then you have to invent by yourself. Okay, you, you have to assume and then write some address, whichever you think is suitable. Alright, but the letter should be in proper official letter format. Okay, formal letter format. Now, rest of the things I have written in next slide, but you are going to write all together in one page. Comes the rest of the details. Intro paragraph, details, concluding paragraph and signatory section. Okay, so this is the format which you have to follow while writing the letter. Letter of reply. Now, this will be reply to the first inquiry that the school has made okay you have to assume that you have received a letter okay and you are going to reply to the query mentioned in the letter so here you can see example and this also follows the same format here you have to write our reference number and your reference number both Sender's address, date, receiver's address, salutation, subject, and intro, paragraph. Then comes details, concluding paragraph, okay, and then signatory section. So, this is how you will write letter of reply, mentioning all the details about discount, publisher's name, Delivery date, discount, payment mode, etc. These were the inquiry which were made by the institution in earlier letter. So, the same points you have to 
write in your letter as well. Okay, I hope it's clear. Let's move to our next example and it is about letter of blessing order. Now after being satisfied with your letter, the form, the school is going to send you some orders. Okay, now letter will be from school to the firm, to the company, to the public, uh, to the bookseller. So, we will see the example here. Sender's address, date, receiver's address, subject. And here you have to mention salutation also. I have missed out. Please write down. So, all right. Then, I am pleased to inform you that our meeting, okay, you have to assume all this thing, okay, that you have uh, conducted a meeting and then discussions were done and then you are ready to place order with their form. All right. And here, keep in mind that whenever you place your order, you must mention in this manner, serial number, name of the items, then number of items, then company's name. Okay, without fail, the instruction, the order should be very much clear. Serial number, name of the items, how many pieces you want, okay, how many pieces you want and which company's product you wish to buy. All these things should be mentioned very clearly and it should be within the box. Now, same letter for the more details these are the more details which the writer has mentioned okay that the check is being provided as an advance so these are the things which you have to invent by yourself okay the main purpose is that order is placed and it should be very clear okay please go through this and these are the things which you have to write by yourself if you are including something then you have at the end of the letter you have to write enclose your check number so and so of amount so and so okay so these are up to you now we will move to another letter letter of complaint okay this is the complaint letter because the order which which were provided by universal book supplier were not up to the mark the orders were not proper some of the books were missing some of the books were damaged some pages were missing so mentioning entire details you are going to write letter of complaint to the firm from where you have brought the books so let us see the answer here students here you have to write your reference number and our reference number then sender's address date receiver's address salutation Subject, first intro paragraph, then comes details of the letter, including paragraph and signatory section. Okay, When you go through it, you will be able to understand about the complaint letter as well. Go through this example properly. Make sure that your complaint is justifiable and it is genuine one let's come to the last letter that is letter of cancellation here you are not happy with the service which is provided by universal book supplier even after writing letter to this firm they have not reverted therefore you are going to cancel all the further orders and the bond that you have made with them for the transaction now let's see the example here also you have to write Reference numbers, then sender's address, date, receiver's address, salutation, so salutation and subject, then intro para, details, concluding paragraph and signatory part. Okay, with this will conclude your letter. So, I hope all the letters are clear to you all. If you have any queries, you can ask me anytime. Thank you, everyone.